Good day everyone, this is John Morley from Creative 3D. I'm going to show you how to create some cool greeting effects with Glow. So here we go. I'm going to select these, basically delete them. The delete key. And I'm going to actually add in a sphere for testing. So we're going to go to Mesh. I'm going to add in a UV sphere. I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher so we have a little bit better looking object. 64 and then let's go with 32 on actual rings. Okay. And then what we can do here is go back to object mode. And I'm going to right click on this inside the object mode and shade smooth. So this will look really nice. Okay, with this model, I'm also going to create an uh, inner section to help with the glass effect. So we're going to go in here and Go to modifiers, so let's go up, select modifiers here with the wrench, say plus add, and we're going to go down to it says generate, and in here it is solidify, we're going to select that. Let's go ahead and put this in see-through mode so we can see what we're doing, and that wireframe, and we could bring this out or in, we go like 0 0.08 millimeters. That's all we need to do with that. Okay, for this one, I'm actually going to be using um, cycles. So let's go and select this. We're going to select the actual render mode here. And we're going to change this to cycles. And we're going to change this to GPU. One thing I'm going to be doing is be doing uh, reducing the actual amount of rendering samples. So we'll do 300 here. Hit enter. And I'm going to do denoising. All right, so that's the basic setup. One thing I'm going to also do is take the film, go down here at the bottom, and it's hit transparent. So that way you can see through this without seeing the background of the HDRI. I'm going to also be adding in a another object here. So if you go in here, add mesh. Let's go with a plane. Let's go and scale this up, something like that. I'm going to go to the side view here. I'm going to hit the G key on the Z and bring this down just right below the sphere. All right, so let's go ahead and start adding materials. So we're going to go back to object mode, select this. We're going to add a little bit of a reflection on this. So let's go to shading. Okay, so in here, I'm just going to add a new material for this. And a simple way to do that is just to uh, add a color. So select the base color, bring this down. I'm going to bring the metallic up. I'm going to make it more metallic. I'm going to bring the roughness down so it has some type of reflection. Something like that. That looks good. All right, we can also put this back in cycles so I get a more realistic what it's going to look like. So now I'm going to select the sphere and we're going to start adding some textures to this. So let's go ahead, create new. And in here, real simple things we can do. We could actually pull from the base out. Let's go ahead and type in a color ramp. And we'll go ahead and select that. And we can also pull this out. And this is real simple, add in a noise texture. This will give us a sporadic effect. So one thing we're going to do here, I'm going to select this down to 1D. We're also going to, um, going to be adding some effects into this. But first, let's go ahead and add in some colors here. So let's go with the black first. So we're going to bring this to a nice blue. So bring that up and bring it to the blue side under this section here and make this a nice red, something like that. So now I'm going to make this a glass texture. So I'm going to bring the actual uh, transmission, uh, put the weight all the way to one, and I'm going to take down the roughness to about a little low, almost to the bottom, and that will make it much better see-through. Okay, here we go. So basically this noise texture is a, a generator for us. So we're going to go in here to the W section here. I'm going to type in number and then frame slash let's go with a hundred for now this gives it sporadic movement hit enter and now we can actually go in here and hit spacebar 
and you see it actually does uh, different colorations throughout. So it's a good way to do that. If you want to control like this blue and red, you can change this to a constant. So you can bring that red about 50%. This will give you constant blue, red, blue, red. You could do three colors, four colors, whatever you want. It's a real simple way to do gradients. All right, so another thing that we need to do now to actually add in the actual emission is we're going to bring this down and I'm going to take this as well from the color to this color. This will give it the effect of a emission. And what I could also do here is just bring this up so we can actually increase that and what that will do is that will still give us a driver so as we use the mouse on the spacebar when we actually click on it it will continue to give us a different gradient effect so it glows this is a real good way to add gradients as well as the emissions to the gradients with the sporadic change this one thing to explain, the higher this number, the less that it actually um, goes from color to color. So the lower this goes, the faster it actually will go through the process. So here I'm going to actually change this to a higher number now, so a different effect. So we'll put like, like 120, and we'll hit enter, and now we'll go back to the layout and see what that looks like in the space bar. It goes through it a lot slower, as you see. So I'm going to show you how to use different colors, a um, variety of colors here. Give it some different looks. So we'll change the color here. So here's a quick time lapse. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for joining me.